I'll tell you how I lost four hundred dollars in the casino. Well, that's what we'll do now. Right. So this chat, this was the casino, right? It's called the Hard Rock. You, you know what the Hard Rock Hotel is, right? Like it's it's like a big. They're all around the world, but this is the Hard Rock, which is a casino, uh, in Miami, and it's shaped like a big guitar. And it's, it looks sick. And out the top of it, like the very so so like where the strings are, you can kind of see it in the video. There's like uh, it shoots up like beams of light. It's massive. Like crazy big, crazy, crazy big. Um, and then on the inside, it looks like this. Look at, that's like <laughs> that's the inside of the casino, and that's also Matt at the end. But basically, we go in there, right? We go in the casino. I pulled out $200 because that's like about 140 or 150 pounds, right? I'm like, today is the day I'm going to get rich. We went to like a slot machine. Dean has $100 at this point. We're on the same slot machine next to each other. Ved loses $100 in 30 seconds because he accidentally set it to $10 spins and didn't realize. So that was $100 gone. Uh... I then was just spinning. I looked to my right. Dean goes, oh. I'm like, okay, hold on. What's going on here? $20 and he's in the bonus buy, right? I'm like, okay, fair enough. He's playing. And imagine like a little grid with all little squares in it. And you've got to fill every single square with a gold coin. And if you get a gold coin in all the squares, you get max win, Okay. Bear in mind, max win was $5,641. The coins are dropping, and this shit's filling up pretty quick. I'm like, hold on. This is interesting. This could be money here. Filling up, filling up, filling up. The whole thing fills apart from one square, and he wins $550, I think. $560 from $20 on this slot machine. So I'm like... Typical. The guy sitting on my right. That could if I sat on that machine, that would have been me. So he's just gone up tremendous. I've then lost a hundred dollars on the exact same slot machine. I'm like, fuck this slot machine, bollocks. I'm going to the real money area. So I get on blackjack, right? It's the, the order goes an old man, me, Matt, a son, and his father. Okay. The old man on my right has a stack of chips about this high. The guy knows what he's doing. He's making bank. And the two, the father, the son on the corner are just there doing their thing, whatever. So we're playing. I think I got a 14 and a dealer had a three, right? And I hit on the 14. And then the dad, the little bald bastard in the corner, yeah? And I'm calling him out because, you know what I mean? Stop backseating, all right? He, he goes, you shouldn't have hit on that. I go, well, I did, right? It's already done at that point. Go around the table. Matt stands. Basically, what ended up happening is if I hadn't have hit, the dealer would have bust. But because I hit, it meant that the dealer won. So this guy's molding at this point, right? I basically griefed the table, okay? So he's already vexed. He's like trying to tell me what to do. At this point, he's like, what you need to do is this, this. If you get this hand, da 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 Look at the dealer's hand. Don't look at mine. Next round comes round. I get a 13. I hit on the 13. I do the exact same thing I did the time before where I made the dealer win. This guy and his dad get up all vexed. And they're like, we're going to another table, son. This is this. And picked up and went to the next table because I was that bad. I made a move. So realistically... Did I lose all my money on blackjack? Yes. But did I piss off a bald prick in the process? Yes, I did. So thankfully, I contributed to a backseater losing money. So if anything, that was worth the money I lost. You know what I mean? At one point, I said, I said to Dean, I was like, bro, you know what would be so funny? If I just went and got on the table that he moved to, bro, the guy would have had a fucking meltdown. If I would have went and got on that table, he would have lost his mind. Oh, it would have been golden. That happens all the time. Yeah, I bet. It was friendly fire. I know the thing is, I know how to play blackjack. Like everyone knows how to play blackjack, but it's people that know how to play blackjack, and then there's people that know how to play blackjack. Like I know 
what to hit on and what not to hit on. But I don't play it enough to be like, oh, the dealer's got this card. So that means I should hold because the probability of them getting a high card next is heightened. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's gambling. I'm gambling. But fucking, yeah, they moved. Uh, Matt ended up actually making somewhat good money from Blackjack. I think Matt started with $150 and then I uh, had about 75 So I said to him, he was on his way to cash out the 75 I said, well, Matt, right now you're down. If you go put that all on black and you win, you're back up. He was like, all right, yeah. So he put it all on black and he lost it all. Um, but then he put on his story... I would have been rich if it wasn't for Lou, yeah? So just to expose him and make sure everyone knows, he was already down money when I told him to gamble, okay? I it, I didn't make him gamble his winnings. I made him gamble to try break even, and he lost, okay? So I'm not a bad influence, all right? I'm not a bad influence.